Uh, friends, this is the second video of uh, how to start with the AutoCAD commands for the engineering graphics course. So, as I earlier mentioned, so here we are using uh, two dimensional uh, uh, structure or two dimensional drawings basically. So, as we use in engineering graphics. So, we already discussed uh, the use of limits, the snap, the grid, as well as uh, the line command and the method of drawing the arc command using the arc command was also uh, discussed. You note that the arc can be drawn in uh, some other ways also for example tangent, tangent, uh, uh, radius etc. But mostly in the beginning you will need uh, to use it uh, by the center point method as was discussed in the previous file. So, if the arc is to be drawn, uh, another thing is if the, you normally the arc, if uh, you see, if arc using center point method C, I'll pick up the center I take here. If I want to pick this as the starting point, the arc is drawn in the anti clockwise direction. Now, if suppose I want to draw the arc in the clockwise direction. Okay, so what I can do is I can press control and I can take the arc in the clockwise direction. So that way almost anything is possible in any direction I can draw the arc. So I, I am drawing it through the center point, the starting point and the end point of the arc. So that is what I specify and with this I draw the arc. So this is the uh, this is something about the arc command. Now the circle command is much simpler. I use the C for circle. It C it reads uh, the the AutoCAD reads C command as the circle command, and then uh, automatically it asks for the center of the circle. So center of the circle I can give, and the uh, radius I can give, and then the circle can be completed. So, this is how I can complete these circles. Similar way, ellipse command. Ellipse I have to type completely, and uh, for the ellipse command, the starting point, uh, the major axis, I, uh, one of the axis I have to define. So, let us say I define this axis. So, the axis is defined, and uh, then the half minor axis or the other axis the half of that only is to be defined. So, that way I can draw the arc like this or like this. So, whatever uh, not arc the ellipse so the ellipse I can draw like this. Ok. So, the ellipse may be drawn along the diagonal even for example this way this way in any orientation I can draw the ellipse fine. So, next is polygon command. So, polygon command so I can use uh, for example 7 sides. So, I can use the edge method or I can use uh, the in circle method. So, first I will explain the edge method. Edge method is I will uh, draw the polygon with edge equal to let us say uh, 50 mm 50 mm is two grid spaces so that is how i can do. draw the polygon that means the seven figures uh, the the seven sided figure can be drawn like this so that is how the polygon command work then next is the point so point will be used at number of places so, point for point, I simply type the point and I can click here and the point is shown. You note that here the point is represented with the cross. It is because the PD mode has been set to 3. So, PD mode, if it is set to 2, it would become a. So, I am what I am doing, PD mode I entered and uh, I change it the PD mode to 2. So, it becomes a plus. 
the PD mode, if it becomes 0, then it becomes simply a point which is not visible here. So, for better visibility, so the PD mode can be chosen. Many times it is chosen as 3, which is the uh, cross mode. Uh, similar way, PD size, that is how much is the size of these cross here, that can be specified, it can be 0 0.125. Normally, it is equal to the grid size, but if it is 0 0.125, then also it is shown here okay 0 0.25 or uh, 0.5 so whatever you want to give whatever you feel is correct in the given figure so that way you can take up sometimes only you need the points so the points uh, otherwise are well identified through the intersections of lines or arcs but Somewhere, uh, if there is no intersection, no other way of identifying an important uh, location, then we can use the point command to identify certain location. Simi uh, as I was mentioning, the points can be identified through the other things like intersection. So, they are called basically uh, osnap commands, under the osnap commands. So, for example, a line I have to draw. If, suppose I do not know where the end, uh, end point of this arc is, so I want to draw it accurately from the end point of the arc, I can type, uh, when I have to, for example, when I type line command, it asks for a point. So, rather than we giving it the point by clicking on the point, which may be inaccurate, what we do, we can choose the accurate methods, for example, end of the arc if, or end of the line we can choose, then it will clearly pick up the end of that entity. So, end of this entity or end of this line or end of this line, it can pick easily. So, we can draw the line from there like this right so for example now i want to draw a line from this point perpendicular to this circle so i can choose per command and i can draw perpendicular to this circle like this so this is the way we can proceed for bringing in the accuracy so the other thing is midpoint. Let us say, so one was uh, uh, midpoint. Now let us say mid take up midpoint. So midpoint of this line is here. So midpoint is shown. Similar way, another is the intersection. Intersection is most important. So intersection of the lines here, or maybe the lines here. Okay, so this point otherwise could not be reached you note that even with your snap of point 125 you cannot reach this this point the point of intersection of these two lines accurately you cannot reach that point without the intersection command so that is the usefulness of the intersection command similar way so for example now from this point, from this intersection, I have to reach this point. If suppose this point was uh, not, uh, I'll, I'll show the example even, point, the snap off. So somewhere, somewhere the point is, point is here. It is not on the grid, not on the snap. So, how to reach that point? I choose node. I choose node and then it will pick that node, that is a node. Similar way, I have center 